This is Grave Confessions from the Grave Talks. Daily, raw, real, and disturbing accounts of the living, interacting with the dead. To share your grave confession, experience with the paranormal, supernatural, or the undead, call toll-free 888-GHOST-13. That's 888-446-7813. Now, today's grave confession. This is Chris. I would like to tell you about a story that happened, a ghost story that happened in my aunt's house. In April of 2011, I moved to my aunt's house. My aunt has four kids who, at the time, lived at her house. Uh, my aunt works at night, so usually me and my son are home alone. Now, the story takes place in the summer of 2011, and my, my, my cousins were out with their friends, and my aunt was working. My son goes to sleep at 8 p.m., um, so, so the story begins, and it was 9 o'clock in the morning, and I hear a knock. And I didn't know who it was, so I glanced out through the window to see. And I saw a cop. So I opened the door, and the cop said that she was doing a wellness check on me and my son. And I told her that we were fine, so my son's asleep, and it's just me. I'm watching TV. And she said, are you sure you're okay? And I said, yeah. I said, well, where did you, who called? And she said that someone in the house called. And I said, you mean from a cell phone? And she says, no. She says, the, the phone that's connected inside the house. And I said, well, no, that's impossible because there is no phone that's connected to the house. Everyone's got a cell phone and my cell phone's off. And she asked again if we were okay, and I said yes. And she says, well, that's strange. And she said that, well, you know, maybe you should tell um, the phone company what's going on. And I said, okay, well, I'll, I'll pass that message to my aunt. Now, this happened three other times. Uh, the second time it happened, I was, again, home alone at 1 o'clock. And then the other two times happened when my cousin was here. And again, it was one o'clock in the morning. And I still think that, that it's so strange that four times the cops came and they said the same thing. that Someone in the house called, not by cell phone, but the phone that was connected inside the house. Um, another strange story happened that same year, um, now, um, me and my son lived in the basement of my aunt's house. Now you go down the stairs, straight on the right hand side, there's a door, which leads into my cousin's room. And then on the other side is a open space with two beds on each side and toys that are against the wall that's by the stairs. Now, what happened was I was in my cousin's room and my cousin has a favorite chair that's just like a few <laughs> a few feet away from the TV. Um, his, his room is really small and cramped, so that's the reason. Um, but I was sitting in the chair, and I was watching a funny movie, and the door opened. And I said to my son, what's wrong? And there was no reply. And I thought that was strange. And then I asked again. I said, what's wrong? Nothing. No reply. So I turned around, and... 
I didn't see him. And it was so strange because I felt somebody was watching me. And the hairs of my arms were sticking up. Now, it, like I said, this happened during the summer, the same year, and around the same time. And the thing is, my aunt's air condition was off. So how in the heck did that door open? That was strange. So, like I said before, the door opened, and I swear I felt like somebody was watching me. And the hairs of my arms start sticking up. It was, though, it was, it was like electricity in the air. And, and then a gust of wind went right through the chair and right through me. It was as if, if God, it, it was almost as if I walked into a freezer. It was that chilly. It was so weird. And I got up quickly, check up on my son, and my son is dead asleep. I ran upstairs to see if someone was home and nobody was home and that was really weird so I went back downstairs and I start hearing noises like somebody was walking upstairs so I went back upstairs again to see nobody was there and I decided okay you know what I'm just gonna ignore it so that's why I did I went back downstairs I went Back to my cousin's room, watched the movie, and then I went straight to bed. And then there's another story that happened in 2016, which is recent. Um, it was about 8 p.m. Now, my aunt's uh, children, four children, do not live in the house anymore. So it's just me, my aunt, and my son. It was 8 p.m., and I was watching Dateline on Channel 5. And I didn't want my son to hear what I was watching, so I put it low. And my son was downstairs in his playroom downstairs. The door was open. And I'm watching, and my son starts saying, Mom! Mom! So I muted the TV, and I said, What's wrong, sweetie? And he says, Did you hear the little boy? I said, what little boy? He says, there's a little boy. I said, no, sweetie, I didn't hear anything. I said, but it freaks, if it freaks you out, then come upstairs with me. Grab some toys. Come on, it's okay. And he goes, no, it's okay, Mom. So he stayed downstairs for a couple hours, and then he went straight to bed. And those are the weirdest things that happen in my aunt's house. Yeah, um, I can't explain any of it. So, okay, thank you, Tony and Jenny, for everything. And thank you for allowing someone like me to talk about my story. Because it's hard because I don't have too many people I can tell this to. Um, if I can... Um, I got a picture of, I, I tried to, tried to send you a picture, but uh, it, it was, I was at, I was at my uh, friend's house, and I took a picture of her cat, and there was an arm, and it was really weird. It kind of looked like an arm, or, or like a wool skirt. It, it was really weird. This has been a grave confession. From the Grave Talks. To share your grave confession experience with the paranormal or the undead, call toll free 888 Ghost 13. That's 888 446 7813.